Hi, and thank you for tuning in. The Property Show is the one and only comprehensive real estate guide with opportunities in the growing real estate sector. Nairobi, the city under the sun, is an investor's haven. Today, we highlight a range of projects keeping up with the current trends. I can tell you the options are countless. On the accessory spot, it's about dining room designs. Also lined up later on the show, experience the easiest, safe, and most flexible way of sending and receiving money with Tcash. The whole objective of Tcash is to be able to help the Kenyan citizen and the businesses to work with us or to work with them in their day-to-day -day financial transactions. A chat with the organizers of the Nanyuki Expo, bringing together developers, legal and financial professionals under one roof. This time round we have a bigger number. Last year we had 52 exhibitors. This time we have about 60, 70. Stay tuned, this conversation is live on our social media platforms. Share your comments and let's talk. As always, there is something for everyone. Today's developers are keeping abreast with emerging trends We'll see this in this edition. Our property pick of the week takes us to Bugani Park Residency. Located in the heart of the tranquil environs of Karen, surrounded with lush vegetation, this project is designed for exclusive living. Let's hear more. Nairobi Hospital and the current hospital, two of the country's top hospitals are located nearby. The area is home to a number of well-known private schools such as Brookhouse, Banda and Hillcrest. A modern shopping complex called Galleria offers the area residents a range of choices when it comes to dining and shopping with all the major banks included. There are two private golf clubs where one can relish afternoon teas on the terrace with its magnificent view over the tree-lined fairways to the Gong Hills. Bugani Park is a premium residential development on Bugani Road in Karen, developed by the Kenya Power Pension Fund. The property consists of 45 four- and five-bedroom luxury townhouses set on individual half-acre plots. The development has been conceived as an English country estate in its design, layout and aesthetic. There are three house types to meet a diverse market and provide a village characteristic to the project. Accommodation features include spacious living room, separate dining room, family room, guest cloakroom, kitchen, separate pantry, study area, four and five all-en-suite bedrooms, master bedroom with bathroom, walk-in closets, Dobie area, DSQ and carport. Salient features include secure perimeter, 24-hour manned gatehouse, backup generators, on-site borehole, gym, clubhouse, swimming pool, cabra paved driveways and street lighting. The property is ready for occupation.
Bogani Park provides the perfect combination of luxury living in the trendy neighborhood of Karen. Next, we head off to Keleleshwa in an upscale neighborhood to view King's Pearl Residency. This crisp architectural plant development guarantees unparalleled living experience. Let's listen in. Located in the heart of Kileleshwa on Oloitoktok Road, King's Pearl Residency is a fully furnished three- and four-bedroom apartment only 10 minutes' drive from the CBD and Westlands and five minutes from Yaya Centre. Accommodation features include spacious living room, dining area, balcony, open-plan kitchen, dobe area, three bedrooms en suite, spacious master en suite bedroom with walk-in closet, Ensuite DSQ with independent access from main lobby. Salient features include 24 hour manned gate, perimeter wall, electric fence, CCTV cameras, carbro paved driveway, ample parking space, two separate elevators, three phase water lines with individual meters, generator for backup lighting, banquet or party halls to entertain guests or hold meetings, indoor swimming pool, fully fitted gym children's play areas, 20-seater mini theater, sauna and lounge spaces. Generous space, refined fittings and fixtures appeal explains why King's developers remains the investor's number one choice. Next, a masterpiece, a prime and elegant development located along Sandalwood Lane, off Riverside Drive, Shiloh Riverside Place. Let's have a look. Shiloh Riverside Place is a luxury project located on Riverside Banks Road off Riverside Drive in the upmarket neighborhood of Westlands. From a leading event organizer to a developer and giving us the best, how did that become? Actually, it's, it's, uh, I did a small course called Landmark and they talked about creating possibilities. And with events, uh, when I introduced the big giant marquees, it turned out to be more work than I imagined. And of course, I was much younger then, so you know, I was able to work night and day, night and day. But I'd been given advice, whatever you do, open up a small portfolio, plus I met you at the time, and you okay. said, why don't you go into development? And it sounded too scary at the time. But later I said, uh, well, why not? So we bashed down the house, actually a house that I we used to rent. remember there was a house here. <laughs> yes, and guess who rented it out? Remember you rented yes, it out yes, for yes, me? Yes, 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 yes. A told long me, time ago. Exactly, and you yes. said this area was going to be full of uh, apartments. So yes. even if I did it up, why not do a development? Yes, I, I remember. It was scary. I was very scared about financing. And you, you were so comfortable. You were like, no, you'll get financing. You'll just it's draw it. It's a good it area. Exactly. The location is perfect. Yes. If you have a good project. Yes. And Nimo, you're quite organized. So this was easy. It's been a journey. But the good thing about it is um, when I think back, it's very much like events as well. It's looking after every little detail yourself and seeing starting with the end in mind. Mm -hmm. So I started with the end in mind. I bashed down my home. So I wanted to come back and live here. So as I've been doing this project, it's all, I've been doing it also as my home because I am going to be living here as well. So I focused a lot on quality, which is what um, I really wanted to do. And, um, and the comfort of the people who are going to buy here and who are going to be living here. And contemporary living, um, some people come and say, oh, there's not so much greenery. This is city living. I love this place. 
because you know Lavington is just down the road. ABC places the other side. And you're on Riverside we, Drive. We've got Riverside Drive. We have yes. a lot of embassies here. That's what makes uh, Riverside special. Because people say, why is it not like Kilelesho? Actually, because we have a lot of embassies. We have the German, Japanese, Ugandan, Australian. This little street of Riverside, that's what makes it different. And it's a little gem by itself. But the wonderfulness is the way you can quickly get to Arboretum, quickly get to Westlands. It's such a central place. Even getting into CBD is y easy. Yeah, just yeah. go down Arboretum. Mm -hmm. Or you can go down Riverside as well. And then now since they put the bypass, it's so easy. you can easily nip in. So also if you want nightlife, we have Westlands, we have Lavington. So it's a place you can zoom and come back quickly. Mm -hmm. and, and again, we don't have too many matatus, but the good thing, we still have them as well. So you're able to escape driving as well yeah i know that getting a development like this one is not a walk in the park yeah. what has been your major challenge i think major challenge was uh, and i'm glad i didn't realize it was uh, financing if i could look back i would have all my financing in place before i started building but i built in faith and with god I dove into the deep end, but um, each part of the way, it's been a learning process. Um, it was difficult. I think my biggest challenge was maybe um, not knowing exactly what contractors do, not knowing exactly what QSs do, not knowing their roles in my vision. But later I was able to put my foot down and say, no, I want more windows. I don't want more stone. I want more windows because I want light. And uh, it's made me grow and it has stretched me. Uh, I never used to read BQs. Now I can read my BQ from beginning to end. I don't find it daunting. I take it like a tender. I read each and every page. And I think the other thing was keeping costs down and sticking to your budget. I think that's the hardest thing. But once you've stuck to your budget, then you spend energy going to look for what fits within your budget and what is good quality and value. So I've looked for value. So did you buy a lot of your stuff, like your kitchen, your wardrobes? Did you get them locally or how did you pick them? I went round and I'm into supporting local businesses. But I, like I said to you, I was going to live here. So for me, one of the most important things was how, how a kitchen would wear and tear and also the cupboards. Because these are doors that you open day in, day out, day in, day out. So I wanted also to have a kitchen that I would love to cook in and clean even when I don't have help. So you're not those wings, not getting clean. I wanted it to be a delight. Like when you travel and you live in a nice holiday home and you're able to clean because it's nice and neat and orderly. So that's what we focused on because um, looking back, the difficult thing about living in a small space is organization. So I, I put together very organized kitchen and very organized cupboards and space. And, and that's why you see we have shelves here so that you can see, you can all have your record collections or CDs or books or whatever. There's enough space. There's enough space for all your things. Nemo, who exactly are buyers in this uh, development? Okay, a lot of uh, the buyers, my original ones, my off plan, my angel investors, um, some are family friends and people I knew, acquaintances, business acquaintances. And um, we sold um, roughly 60%. We're looking to sell another 30% because I myself am living here. So I'm occupying 10%. And um, I have a couple of units I want to keep also as renting out for rentals because some of the people who have bought want to keep them out and rent them out for extra income, which is why they bought on Riverside. Shiloh Riverside Place, the blueprint of contemporary living is situated in one of the most sought after neighborhoods, Riverside Drive. It has 24 three bedroom apartments and four penthouses. They provide comfortable and spacious living space. Accommodation includes for your entrance, spacious lounge with dining area, guest cloakroom, open plan fully equipped kitchen with ample storage, derby or utility area, DSQ, three bedroom all in suite with fitted wardrobes, master bedroom has, his and hers walk-in closet, bathtub and shower. Salient features include 
electric fence, perimeter wall, 24-hour CCTV camera surveillance, 24-hour security guards, ample parking, gym, borehole, swimming pool, individual wireless internet connected in every apartment, and standby generator. Price on inquiry. These luxury apartments dubbed the blueprint for contemporary living are on offer. For those looking for space, style and elegance, this is the place for you. Next, we head off straight to Thika Superhighway to a project maintaining privacy and tranquility. This development gives a taste of fine living. Let's see what they have to offer. Bamboo villas are stylish residences that retain the value of peaceful living while being conveniently close to shops, schools, transport zones and the airport. These four bedroom homes are perfect for a family and reflect on the personality and taste of those accustomed to the best quality design, finishes and lifestyle. Located in Roiro, off the Eastern Bypass just before Kamakis, 700 meters from Thika Super Highway. Accommodation includes spacious living area, high ceiling, clad in unique ceramic floor tiles, inbuilt kitchen cabinetry, sizable visitors' cloakroom, four bedroom ensuite plus, inbuilt wardrobes, and DSQ ensuite. Salient features include gated community setting, electric fencing, and 24 hour security, huge underground concrete water tank, generator, solar water heaters, biodigester for wastewater, cabra paved walkways, and ample extra parking with two designated per house. Indeed, bamboo villas offer convenience and value for money. All these properties are available at our First Avenue offices and guess what, we arrange private viewing too. Moving on, the accessory spot with a range of dining room designs. The dining room area is often the heart of a home, where friends and family gather for hearty meals, bonding moments and good conversations. Let's get tips on making the dining space warm and inviting. A dining area is an important aspect of a house. It affects the room's layout and ambience. It's important to go the extra mile to enhance the decor and theme. The shape of the dining table influences the dining room space. Choosing the ideal width of the table allows for perfect settings for food and most importantly, conversations when guests are around. Placing a rug beneath dining tables and chairs help prevent the furniture pieces disappear in the room. Ensure the rug is wider than the table on all sides. Lighting in the dining room area should be based on the table and its setting in terms of shape, size and style. Round fixtures like chandeliers are an easy win with round tables whereas linear fixtures are perfect for rectangular or extension table. A more flexible option is multiple pendants arranged to complement the shape of the table, 
either grouped together for circular tables or in a row for rectangular tables. Selecting the artwork for the dining area helps bring the room together. For example, a beautiful mirror is one of those pieces that never go out of style so you can feel comfortable investing in it. A large mirror is a great solution if you have a smaller space that you are looking to open up a bit. A painting on the dining room wall also adds a personal touch. The small touches you choose for accessories should set each space up as a beautiful room on its own, as well as tie together with the rest of the house. Arrange the same style of accessories throughout the home to help bring all the rooms together. Artwork, accessories, lighting and positioning are always the highlight of the dining room. You can achieve the perfect look and feel if you work with an interior designer. The property show continues after the break. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Hey, me naito Peter. Na me naito Paul. We, we look alike, dress alike. alike. Ata tuna no pena madem sim. But there's one key difference. I use Telkom data bundles and he doesn't. Bona Paul. Because for 50 bob on my network, I'm able to get 150 MBs and 150 SMSs. On Telkom, 49 bob gets me 500 MBs. What? 500 MBs plus free WhatsApp and free Telkom to Telkom calls. Wow. Bro, watch a story mob. See you just get Telkom data bundles. But mm -hmm. Achakua Tururu Think Get 500 MB Free WhatsApp And free Telcom calls For 49 Bob Dial star 544 hash Join Telcom Where every Bob counts Telcom Moving with you Welcome back You're watching The Property Show Next Telcom how do you experience the easiest, safe, and most flexible way of sending and receiving money? Let's find out from the team. services. Tcash is one of our newly launched services at Telcom Kenya. It's a mobile money service that we are offering the Kenyan citizen. What we did, we listened to the customers, had did research and asked the customers what would you like on your mobile money platform. And based on that, we took their research and their feedback and we produced services or we produced Tcash. Tcash is here. It's a service that offers simple and easy to perform transactions and the whole objective of Tikash is to be able to help the Kenyan citizen and the businesses to work with us or to work with them in their day-to-day -day financial transactions. So on Tikash, we have the basic services where you can send money, you can deposit, you can withdraw. You can also pay a bill, your KPLC bill or your Nairobi water bill. And also you can be able, what we call, buy goods and services. When you go to the supermarket and you're shopping and you want to pay for your goods and services, you can buy goods and services using Tcash service. When it comes to sending and receiving money, yes. security is very important. Yes, I agree. Take us through the security system that you're working with to ensure that I'm safe. Okay. Our security starts from the word go when you do a transaction. Before you enter that PIN, because in each transaction that you perform on Tcash, you have to validate that this is Nancy that is doing this transaction. We also want you to check this SMS message that comes, which shows the name, the mobile number you're sending money to, and the amount. It shows the message is a flash message, and then before that, once you confirm that, then you enter your PIN. That is one of our security measures. Secondly, when you registered, we got all your what we call KYC details. This know is, your customer details. Yes, thank you, yes. This enables us to know who you are and to ensure that when you transact, we know it is Nancy transacting with, so, with another person and not any other person. And we are able, on our system, we are able to track transaction by transaction. 
So if anyone decides to do something on your account, we are there, right there to verify that this is not that this is not the owner of the account. What sets you apart? We know that other companies are offering the same service. Yes. Why should I come to you? Okay. Tcash, for one thing, we don't have agent numbers. So you will not go and do a withdrawal and enter the wrong number and that means then you have to call the call center for a reversal. We don't have uh, agent numbers, we use a Tcash code, which you as a customer generate from your wallet or from your phone. Two, we also allow you to save the favorite contacts, the people that you're sending bills to, and also your merchants. So we call it favorites. So if I periodically pay Kenya Power, I yes. can save that number. So you can save your Kenya Power, the number, the biller number is already there. All you need to save is your account number. And whenever you want to pay your KPLC uh, bill, all you do is enter the amount and the PIN. All the details are already saved on your Tcash account. The other one, I may have spoken about it earlier, but it's the confirmation message. As we say, as we know, security is very critical when you're doing a transaction or financial transaction. So on Tcash, before you actually send money to somebody, the system will ask you the name, will show you the name of the person you're sending money to, it will show you the mobile number, and it will show you the amount. This helps control any sending money to the wrong person, which we call reversals, and also ensures that your transaction is secure and it's sent to the correct person. And so there are no mistakes? No mistakes at all. No mistakes, because we give you the ability to validate who you're sending money to. Before yes. I, I press the button? Yes. And how much can I receive or send? So we have the same uh, requirements just like all the other mobile money platforms, which is part of the regulation in Kenya. So the minimum you can send is one shilling, and the maximum you can send is 70,000 shillings. And what are your transfer and withdrawal charges? Well, I can't break them down all, but what I can say, we are very affordable. We looked, as I said earlier, we looked at the customers or the Kenyans, we asked them, what is it that you would like? And we came back and we ensured that we provide you affordable prices on our mobile money platform. As a client, am I able to deposit money from my bank? Yes, you can send money from your Tcash account to your bank account. And where are your agents? Where can I find Tcash shops? Oh, our agents are all over the country. We, we had over 20,000 agents by the time we launched. And also our shops, they're all over the country. So you everywhere you will find our agents with our beautiful branded colors. Thank you so much, Madeline, for your insights. Give us your final thoughts. We went out to the market and we asked Kenyans what they want. So Tcash is a service which is designed with the you, the Kenyan, in mind and with offerings that you have asked for. Asante sana. Thank you. Affordability, security features and convenience makes Tcash the number one mobile financial solution. Visit any of the telecom outlets and get yourself connected. have a dream to own a home. Next, our guest shares his home ownership experience. Let's watch. Home ownership for me began way back while I was still in, uh, in college. And uh, for me, I've, I've always thought of, uh, I really want to live and a property of my own. Even without the funds, I was like, I was thinking about it. Though it was not like conclusive or it didn't have a real shape, but it was a desire in me. And after college, started working. Fortunately enough, I did not pay rent because I was living at uh, my folks' place. As time went by, when it came to now needing to settle down, I was like, I got married and all that. And the desire was still in me, but how was the issue? While I was working, 
uh, I happened to have enough funds and decided we discussed with my wife and like what do we begin with first of all do we put up a home or uh, do we do up a business common sense came in and like we can do a business through the business we can be able to own a home i got into business while well, she was she works as a teacher so basically with her savings and also some of what i had uh, we went into business lucky enough i went into construction and uh, i was doing fabrications and all the metal works in the construction so that started giving me the the desire and seeing the beauty of how to bring up a house and all that well it was an expensive affair so basically it was time and uh, i thank god that uh, a friend of ours told us of a place in uh, sogoto where we live and uh, well we said let's see whether we can buy the property as it goes our savings were enough so we bought the property well as i said earlier uh, i have been in construction for quite a while and uh, I actually knew practitioners of the industry, so I was like aware. I knew a, a few masons. I knew an engineer. I knew an architect. I knew the quantity surveyor. So all those were for me the lucky part. I was like uh, conversant with those details, and also I knew those friends. So for me, it was not very difficult. So I would uh, I got to an architect who was a friend of mine. There's a design of a house I wanted. So I told, I showed him the picture. And uh, then I gave them all the details of how I would want my house to look like. So he told me well and good. He would draw, draw it for me. And uh, sure enough, he drew, though, though he did not get it right the first time. We had a few corrections here and there. And uh, with that, uh, I was able to now visualize what I wanted and we were in agreement so the next place was like uh, you need to get the structural engineer to get all that lucky enough there is a guy we went to college with and he's a structural engineer for me that was pro bono so I was like okay this is good yeah. that's when friends come in he did for me all that and uh, for the quantities I had to pay actually that took about three months so that everything would be verified and uh, well I told my wife that I would want to do this development in a record time the shortest time possible so we would calculate the days on what needs to cure at what date and all that and uh, well it was quite a discussion because it is not as easy as I thought it would be the shortest time possible. That means lump sum amount of money. And that now became a challenge. So we had to like defy it a bit longer than uh, I expected. And also we now had to also now start consolidating the funds. Lucky enough, uh, there was a project I was doing and uh, I would say that was a major breakthrough for us because uh, it gave us quite a, an amount of money that we were able to begin with added to our savings we were able to begin so it took us nine months the tenth month we were in our house for me i normally like the, a village setting because well i didn't grow up in the village and uh, I would want my children to also have a feel of how it feels to be in a farm, to be in, uh, in the village setting. Because, uh, well, I was more like, let them be able to know a different way of life. That for me was very key. And also, I love... Uh, the green that is normally in the village and all that and actually even the vernacular for me does it at first 
Avenue, we work with professionals every step of the way and can hold your hand and make the home ownership dream a reality. It's that time for property news on what's happening in the property arena. To start us off, we speak to the organizers of the upcoming expo in Nanyuki, bringing together stakeholders under one roof. Let's hear more. The Realtors Expo is a platform for different stakeholders in the real estate industry where we bring together people who sell land, people who develop land, people who do interiors, people who add value to the pieces of land in the region and out of the region. It's normally an annual event um, and this year it's happening in June from 1st to the 3rd and uh, this time round we have a bigger number. Last year we had 52 exhibitors. This time we have about 60, 70. And uh, our target is to make sure that we give them uh, exposure uh, from the Mount Kenya region and to their companies. Our theme this year is eco-friendly uh, property development. Uh, we are in line with uh, Agenda 4, uh, where the government is focusing on affordable housing. And then we have a passion for environment, conserving the environment. So that's where we came up with the theme for 2018. Yes, we still have space for more exhibitors. We want, um, although quite a number of it has been sold out, but yes, we do. Nanyuki is a town on a getaway to the Northern Corridor. And uh, right now is when uh, we are having, uh, having things coming up on the Northern Corridor. Laikipe is also part of the Lapset. We are 50 kilometers of it. That is Lamu Port, South Sudan, Ethiopia Transport is passing within that. And also part of entrance of the Road and Belt Initiative from China is through the port of Lamu. So with that, we expect Nanyuki to have potential growth. And apart from that, we have the vast land as compared to other places. We're also a cosmopolitan town and uh, we have, I can say, we have more than 42 tribes within the, the region. In terms of security, uh, I can say surely guaranteed and uh, also the Rika Superhighway, which will be extended to Ethiopia, will be passing by. It's a corridor that uh, people are key in putting up uh, large investment. And for example, we have Mayan already done. We also have uh, Mount Kenya Holiday Homes. We have uh, the only estate in the world, Mount Kenya Wildlife Estate, Mukwe. And uh, we also have Miramonte, which was launched on March 17th. It's a senior citizen retirement homes of its kind in Kenya. So apart from that, we have the Cedar Mall, one of our major malls within the area. And uh, soon, Nanyuki will be connected to the Isiolo International Airport. We believe together we can grow. So we've been involved with a number of partnerships from when doing events to our main business, which is buying and selling land. For this expo, we've partnered with Property Show and First Avenue. We have also partnered with the hospitality industry. We have partnered with security. We have partnered with the legal to make sure that we are all covered. The Realtors Expo. Uh, happening from 1st uh, to 3rd of June this year. 
I would like to invite uh, all of us to come for the Realtors Expo. Come and experience Laikipia Beyond Beauty. Learn more investment opportunities under one roof. Uh, we're going to have uh, exhibitors from uh, various categories uh, and it's going to be a very good learning experience for all of us. Apart from the exhibition, we'll also have uh, a property tour. So it's uh, going to be a good experience. Uh, it also being a Madaraka day, it can be a family day out. You are welcome, Karibuni Laikipia. Laikipia Beyond Beauty. Next, the Tani Open Day. Are you ready to begin your journey onto the property ladder? Join Datani Enterprises on Saturday, 26 May 2018 for an open day at their Kitengela plots. The plots are strategically located in the neighborhood of KAG East University and just 500 meters off the Namanga Kitengela Road. 30% discounts available for buyers. Transport will be available at 9 a.m. from Datani Enterprises offices at Next Gen Mall, 6th floor, Mombasa Road. Call to book now. On the property news, we highlight everything happening in the real estate sector, from groundbreaking events, open days, product launches, and topical issues redefining the real estate space. Next, the property gallery. Commercial Missionette in Lavington Valley Arcade. Conveniently located at the Valley Arcade Shopping Centre in a gated compound, this Missionette is ideal for commercial use. Main features include an ensuite and detached office room on the ground floor overlooking the garden, kitchenette fitted with cupboard, two office rooms upstairs with wardrobes providing adequate storage, visitors' cloakroom, well landscaped gardens, 24 hour security, and parking space. The residence is ready for occupation. Price on inquiry. Gigiri Land, located off United Nations Avenue along United Nations Crescent, is the 0.56 acre of land. The land is easily accessible through the northern bypass. The parcel is fully serviced in a secure area with a close proximity to the United Nations, U.S. Embassy, Turkish Embassy, the Two Rivers Mall, Village Market, Gigiri Shopping Center and Gigiri Police Station. The land can be used for both commercial and residential purpose. Price on inquiry. of these properties spark your interest. At First Avenue, we have a range of all these properties and more. We also give advice on getting onto the property ladder. the days when getting onto the property ladder was for a chosen few. Next Sunday, we'll highlight our just concluded signature bus tour, connecting aspiring home buyers with professionals in the legal and financial sector and a one-on-one -on -one conversation with developers. Indeed, this is the place to get you started on the property ladder. This conversation continues on our social media platforms. Share your comments and let's talk. Thank you for watching The Property Show. As always, there is something for everyone. Kwaheri, 